Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com, and first off, this is not a tutorial. This is not something I've learned. This is actually a question for everybody out there, if anybody knows the answer. Um, I was at the gym today, playing around with the Canon 5D Mark III, taking some pictures of my girls. Um, I've been in this gym a lot before, and I wanted to see how the 5D Mark III with a 70-200 to 2.8 lens would work. Um, it actually works quite well, even at extreme high ISOs. You can see I'm trying to stop the motion. I didn't succeed on this picture because you can see the feet are um, blurry. And I was at uh, 3 20th of a second, 320. Um, this one, oh, a little blurry in the feet again. This one was at 250. Um, and you can see in this one here, I've dialed in just a ton of noise reduction. Here, let me zoom in here one to one and I'm going to get rid of all of the noise reduction so you can see how grainy it is at 12,800. It still actually performs quite well. Um, I was really impressed on how well it does in low light. Um, and actually not only low light but really crappy light. <laughs> the, the, the light in this gym is just awful. It must be the cheapest fluorescence you can possibly buy. Um, so my question is, um, I was kind of shooting this wall just to try to get an idea of what white was, um, and I noticed this large yellow band appeared, and I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. It must be a um, shutter speed kind of thing, because I know in video I've seen this happen before, where if you're at like a 60th of a second, um, 50th of a second, or 60th of a second uh, in the United States, uh, you will get some yellow banding in video. But this was pictures, so I'm kind of baffled. I'm like, well, what's going on here? Why, why are these fluorescents causing it in the picture? It's almost like a curtain issue because if you look at the next picture, it's down here. It, it's like it moved. It's like the curtain. You know, I'm not a big fat uh, flash type person, but you know, you can get the, you can actually see the curtain going up and down. Um, so I'm, I was really like, like, what's going on? Because when you look at my video, and I did both video um, at you know, 1080p, 20, uh, 50th of a second, and I also did some slow motion at 720p at 125th of a second, and I wasn't seeing any of this anywhere. Um, and those, you know, especially at 50th of a second, I thought I would at least see some of this stuff going on, um, but I wasn't. Uh, so it's kind of reverse. Um, and so what I did is you can see right here, it was happening at these really high ISOs, 12,800. Um, this one's at 3,200, not as bad, and that was 1,250 of a shutter. And uh, here's the next one. Again, not as, this is even better, but you'll notice it down here, and you'll notice cropping up here. And this one is at uh, 3,200. So I noticed as I was lowering the ISO, the noise was the the uh, yellow was going away. You can still see it down here, see it, see it up there. This one's again at 3,200, and this time it's at 800th of a second. So it's almost, you know, I was changing the shutter speed a lot. So to me, it was more dependent on the ISO. So I, I got all the way down to 160, and I'm not seeing it at all. Um, and here's another one, all the way down to 160. We got a yellow balloon, but no yellow banding. So my question to you guys is, why am I seeing it? In the stills, and, but I'm not seeing it in the video. Uh, if anybody knows the answer, uh, that would be really cool. Uh, let me know. All right. Again, this is not a tutorial. It's just a question, and it's late. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.